Attention pour le décor. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, unité. Top, allumage vulcain. Allumage confirmé. Top, allumage EAP, décollage. à bord sur nos minots. Well, we lost her to the low clouds early, but in a blaze of light, there she is coming back out of the clouds. Roaring off the path. The DDO says everything is normal, propulsion and trajectory. In a blaze of light and a trail of gold as Ariane 5 reaches into the skies above French Guiana, on her way to deliver ATV-3, which will make her way to the International Space Station next week. Ah, uh, we've lost her through the clouds. So, the launch vehicle first clears the pad in a vertical rise. And you can start hearing the noise. Vol, en vol and the launch vehicle has just passed Mach 1. It's past the speed of sound. Six kilometers in altitude, 317 meters per second. 773 tons at liftoff. She's burning five tons of fuel every second, 2.5 tons in each booster. Those are the big flames on either side. And the EPC, the core stage, in the center is burning another 300 kilos per second. Ariane following the program in the onboard computer, which gives all the orders, including stage separation, which we will soon see because the boosters and the first stage are burning now, and the boosters will burn another maybe uh, 20 seconds and then get the order from the onboard computer in to... All, in all, they will burn for around two minutes, and they will deliver 90% of the thrust at liftoff. The booster is burning their 240 tons in just over two minutes. You can see the three points of light there, the two on either side, if they come back. It looks like we lost to the clouds again. Two on either side are the boosters. Luca, on the left, on the upper left of the screen, there's a cursor, and on the bottom left, A and V. That's right, saying? A, the altitude. We are at 63 kilometers already, 2 minutes and 20 seconds, and we are at 67 kilometers from Earth. Separation des EAP, and the DDO just called out the successful extinction and separation of the boosters. You see what that looks like? There's one on the other side out of camera range, dropped right on time and on target. Before the boosters are empty, their push diminishes, and this is what the onboard yep. computer senses, a drop in acceleration, de and then it separates them. Normaux, le vol est calme. Separation occurs one second after the onboard computer has detected this speed loss. Did you mention the altitude and the speed? Right, so V, the speed, as you can see, 2.24 kilometers per second, per second, not per hour. And if we look at the curb, the curb is a projection of where it should be, and the dot is the actual position of the launch vehicle. So as long as the dot remains on the curb, everything is going very well. So it's real-time superimposed on optimal, Excellent. a real trajectory is superimposed on the optimal the provision. Okay, we're waiting for the fairing jettison. So the fairing is a 17 meter by five. Ah, we've had separation of the fairing. You can see how that happens. There are two halves, actually. The other is out of camera range on the other side. Blown away by, what, a series of uh, pyrotechnic cords, I think. That's right. So it's actually a very light structure, although it is uh, 2.4 tons. But it's 17 meters high, 5.4 meters wide. It's a uh, carbon fiber honey um, a sandwich around a honey aluminum honeycomb. And it protects the payload from the dense atmosphere as it goes through. Then once we get out of this dense atmosphere, around 100 kilometers up, we don't need the fairing anymore. So we have a vertical separation system, a horizontal separation system, and they break the fairing in two at the separation. We don't need it, and it's just dead weight. Why not get rid of it? Back with more of the mission in a moment, but for now, the latest news from Arian Space. Normal.